Sammy Kerr is dead and the money he'd been looking after has gone missing. Anderson, Elliot and Tierney, whom Sammy's been working with, are worried. They're even more worried when they discover that Sammy's brother Duncan and Private Eye McMurdo are finding out what they've all been up to. Is it grief you feel, Duncan? Or relief? I was saying... Somebody who had... I thought you'd be used to this rigmarole. So where did you take the place apart? No? Huh? You're a stupid bugger. I went to get some of my brother's belongings for his fiance. I had keys. So why didn't you go when it was open? It was the only time I could make it. Well? Hey, Fall. No? No. We heard you were auditioning for the SES last night. You got that cop shop bugged or what? It's a small city. Did you find anything? Like what? Like anything. What's it to you? Sammy wasn't just a business associate, he was a friend. We want to know if he was murdered. So, why are you interested in me? We thought if you know something, you might like to share it with us. Why should I? I like to keep tabs on employees. There has to be some mutual trust. What do you see out there, Kerr? I'll tell you what you see. You see the majority. Cattle. Excess fat on the national body line. Mindless herds waiting to be prodded this way or that, following each other's shite. We're not like them, care. I mean, we didn't crawl out the swamps and develop into intelligent beings because we had a fail-safe social security system. It was the desire to succeed that dragged us forward. The desire for power. Less of the crypto-fascist tract, if you don't mind. We're only interested in people who can pull themselves up out of the mud. You don't seem to be like that. My job offer is reluctantly withdrawn. Nice speech, boys. I'll put you up for Employer of the Year award, eh? Best thing you can do is to go back to the big smoke. You won't like here. We do. It's a bit quieter than Glasgow, but you won't. Honest engine. You won't. Can we drop you anywhere, Mr. Kerr?
Hey, you two, wait a minute. You work for Anderson, right? Am I right? So. You've just been in my room. No. You're a liar. Didn't he ask me to check him? Why? Because I forgot it. It's a shame, isn't it? Metal plate in his head, poor Stanley. I pick up radio tea. Let's see. Sorry about last night. It was just the shut you know, the... it. Listen, I want you to find about a girl called Sarah Timpson, friends of the earth, where she lives, what she did, okay? Aye. 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 So go! Mr. Kerr, I wonder if Morning. Mm -hmm. Lovely grounds, Lord Mucus. I envy you your landscape. I'll take you fishing tomorrow. You go down and have a look at the loch if you like. I would rather. Take a look at the Dundee operation here, if you don't mind. Plenty of time for that. Relax. Enjoy yourself. By the way, how's the Grand Inquisitor? Thank you. Look for something. Aye, I was, I was a tailor's dummy in there last night. You know what happened to you, didn't you? Oh, I think Gabby and I have that this morning. Who's that? Gabby Calder. Top floor behind you. From here? Aye. Right, cheers. Sculptures. Aye. This is an old juke mill, isn't it? I so. My mother used to work here. When she was 16. It's quiet, isn't it? I hear a spider get stiffy. Can I help you? I wanted to buy your tailor's dummy you picked up this morning. Oh no, too late. It's art. Stuff inside you want, isn't it? Am I right or am I right? You're right. Have you got them? Oh, I threw them out. You threw them out? <sighs> Just japing, I thought that might tickle you. You see, I had a shifty. I'm a nosy wee bint. It's just business. You're a journalist or something? Something. Do you need any help? Excuse me? Pals of the planet, know what I mean? Did you know the Timson lass? Aye. She was at art school. We used to horn out save the fraticula artica leaflets together. The what? The puffin. Did you save many? Many have you seen lately? Listen. You seen this shite? Why would two people who hardly know each other elope? And Greta Green's in the opposite direction, you know what I mean? Milligan. I don't know. Listen. Here. If I can be of any assistance, you know what I mean? I'm not as stupid as I look. Thanks. spending your money in something more productive, like a flat. Sammy says you're in the middle of a divorce. She's buying you out of the flat. Is 
that right? I'm sleeping in the buff car lane to get to the point before I get to my wife's front. I found this. Whose is it? Whose do you think? Sam's. Don't you see? He must have been in danger. And why else would he have a gun? Guns aren't always for self-defense. What's that supposed to mean? I know Sammy. He wouldn't have a gun unless he was in trouble. I know him better than you. He wouldn't do anything wrong. I find this in his office. So? He's a bit green. So? Jesus, I know your type so well. You want everything to be perfect, but you'll settle for it just to look perfect. Get off my back, Caroline, and don't give me a hard time because I've had a rotten day. If you start poking about in his affairs, you do it with me. Your actions affect me. I'm in control of his affairs. I'm keeping an eye on you. I don't know why you're hanging about, but I know your type. How are you doing? You ever live with the smell of piss and shit day in, day out? Ever live in a room for 23 hours a day, day in, day out? Ever have to be as submissive as a dormouse day in, day out? You ever seen anybody end an argument by simply getting their dick out? The last bit rings a bell. Sarah Timpson. Who are you? Who, me? Mm -hmm. Lecky. Gas. Electric. Lecky Gas Electric. That's a very funny name. Yeah, it's Polish. Mm. How did you get in here? Ah, uh, a credit card. To the door. How do I know you know this guy, Kea? How do I know you're you? He might be somebody else. I mean, Sarah always lived like a pig. Did you tidy this place up? Oh, yeah. I'm always breaking into people's houses just to tidy them up. You know, me and Molly Weir. You're a comedy detective, that right? Maybe the cops did it, you know? Well, maybe. Well, you, you found anything? Like a diary or something like that? Huh? No. No, I checked, thoroughly. I mean, that's my job. My clothes have gone. I reckon she's hit the road. Do you? Yeah. I mean, that's the way it looks, isn't it? I mean, she's probably off in Greece, you know, sunning herself, listening to the bazookas. Or the bazookas. Or was it ukuleles? I can't remember. Thing is, Dick Tracy, Sarah never had a passport. I remember that because she forgot to apply for one and missed the college trip to the drug ports of Amsterdam. Oh, yeah. So what's this thing? A hologram? Well, if this is here, then she can't be there. Think about it. You're worried about her, aren't you? Of course I'm worried about her. I'm very worried now. Listen, boys. I bought in some food in case anybody was hungry. 
Jerry Chops. Back room. Where is it? Time for the blue movie? Just move. <laughs> Well, as you say in Randolph Scott films, let's smoke the pipe of peace. Exactly. Serve yourself? Yeah. But first of all, what you don't need is panic. We all need each other. We're all linked. How shall I put this? Intrinsically. That's right. No need chopsticks. We've too much to lose. Pass me a prawn cracker, would you? What's the name? Any bald rice? I'm on a diet. We're going nowhere until he pays for his DIY at my club. <laughs> you started it. You accused me of killing Sammy. I did not. Will you two get back in your playpen? Somebody must have some boiled rice. The problem is simple. Sammy had the payments invested. Now it transpires they're nowhere to be seen. They seem to have legged it. Except that money doesn't have legs. What you got? Chicken with black bean sauce and green peppers. And some red ones. Give us it here. We don't even know if Sammy was murdered or not. We don't know anything. Anything could have happened. Sure. Dean's here could have called him. Me? We've been drinking. Or Tierney, our resident fashion victim and club monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I do deserve this shite. I've done my bit. Did you? Jesus wept. Well, did you? What about you? He was shagging your wife. Gentlemen, all we have here is a perfectly natural case of anxiety. Mm. Death does that. I'm sorry? Well, makes you look at your own mortality. Makes you think. It has no dominion. Right, you're right. I just want to know what everyone else knows. I just want complete honesty within the group. Well, I think we have that, Billy. I mean, we're all in the dark. Well, that's not a very good place to be, is it? a very interesting family. I was wondering if we could make a trip down to Dundee soon. I must go back next week. Well, it's lovely here, but this is a business trip. Can we talk? Certainly. He's a very accommodating young man. But I must say, he listens to the most bizarre music. House, I believe they call it, and rap. I quite like it, really. Pump up the jam. Pump it up. Pump it up. <laughs> well, having seen the site, I think we can really expand the operation. 
I think that could be possible. Hmm? One of our African contracts has become a little difficult. He's refusing to cooperate. How much are we talking about? 200,000 tons. You know, Chase is very much like private detection. It's always a case of being one step ahead of finding the order in the chaos. Checkmate. That's no fear. Game of the game. You'll not get many clients with a message like that in your answering machine. I'm no here at the moment. I'm probably at the slicer in. What are you doing here? Playing chess. She's learning chess. I'm learning chess. I wonder if you know there's somewhere I can look at this. And this. Aye, well, where did you get that from? I'm Caroline. Oh, I'm Hector. Hector? I mean, it's really embarrassing. You know, I hate to charge you and everything, but the VDU really soaks up the juice, sir. It's like a sort of electronic alcoholic. He uses enough to light up the best parts of the hill time. <laughs> I never knew there was a best part. Ah, yeah, well, you wouldn't, eh? Thanks. What's this? Not postcard. From Mexico. What's this, eh? From my ex. Mexico is crap. It smells of shite and fish. We are dead broom, as it is a total furnace. We are living in a house like Zorro's. I'm impressed. Oh, yeah. The future of investigation is communication. That's my motto. Very good. Stick this on. Is he a real private dick? I am. Um, how'd you meet the midget anyhow? Look, come on, shut up. Let's get on with this one. You see, I've just never met one before, you know? I doubt you have now. Come on, come on. What's wrong with it? Don't know, nothing's happening. It's just a slight blimp. Do you mean blip? It was working on Tuesday. Is it plugged in? Of course it's plugged in. Right. That's it. Ah, right. Locked file. Okay, know what we need for that? What they call the Ronnie Biggs in the computer world. And for those of us in the trade, we call it a disk bug. There we go. It's a worm? <sighs> disk bug, disk worm. I mean, what are you? David Attenborough. It's a generic term. Come on. Let's... Hold on. Yeah, okay, let me try. No, hold uh, it, hold on. Uh, there we go. And that's there. it. ANG transport. What I think you are wanting. Lovely, thank you. That's just accounts. Uh, it's not just accounts. You don't put just accounts in a locked file, do you? It's figures within figures, you see? See, drums, I mean, that's what they had in the back of the truck. That's it? right. And so, what makes rusty old drums this valuable? 3,600, 2,400, 16,800. The yeah. The estate agents. That's right. There we are, 40,000 pounds. That's the total for one month. Camino's been paying ANG, ANG's been paying Diep, Diep's been paying Germany. In my name. In your name. The checks. Smart, yeah. Okay, coffee, anybody? No thanks. Come on, you be my coffee waller. I'll have one. Nice times? Very nice. I found it wrapped up with Sammy's gun. A4, what does that mean?
That's a matter of soup. Don't you shoot over the investigation. I want you fit a bit. Now listen, you do realise this could be a bit hairy. I mean, you do realise that, don't well, you? Well, I don't like coffee, anyway. Not this. That. The smell of pish in here is chronic. Oh, yeah, well, that'll be the dam. I hope so. I take it you live alone. That's right. That's the way I like it. You? You got a boyfriend? Nah. You used to go to a scaly eyed bampot in Glasgow, though. How about yourself? Oh, I, yeah, of course, but you know, it didn't work out. My rampant sexuality was too much for her. Either that or she didn't like my line of work. Hey, what did she do? She was a safe cracker. <laughs> So, what's happening then? We can't get into this one. No? Oh, well, that's us bugger, isn't it? What's the A4 for? It's not an ordinary A, it's the square and compass. It's the sign of the Masonic Brotherhood. Well, you could always give it a funny handshake. Cheers, Billy. Caroline will appreciate it. Come on. Is this that? Uh-huh. That's it. You need to come. Are you ready? Of course I'm ready. Wish I could have spammed that. I bet you this is going to take all night. Right. Your lights on. They're on. They're on. See? Oh, the midges, the midges, you can't have what you could use. The midges, the midges, they really are the limit. The midges, the midges, it's just dry. It's a great song, that, you Show it for the move. 